Welcome or welcome back to my channel. This was supposed to be Sketchy Sunday, but it's not Sunday, but it is what it is. It is also for my counterfeit kit challenge for April, and it is also the counterfeit kit sketch challenge, which looks like it's a page maps. And so I'm going to do these two pictures of my daughter and my nephew, and we're at Heritage Park. Um, my mom's got my baby, but her head's cut off in that picture, so I'm just going to cut them down because... I have lots of other pictures of that one. I'm going to use this pink fresh paper, Happy Blooms Cottage. This was a Hip Kit Club one. And then these two papers from Tracy Reed I pulled, and this is a scrap of American craft paper. And so I pulled that stripey one because it works really well with the hearts and the colors I've already got, and I'm going to speed us up because, yeah. So I'm going to cut the photos down to three and three quarters square because um, that's what it said on the sketch. And then I'm going to mat them. Um, that first one I didn't really cut down very well, so I'm going to have to cut it again. But and then I thought about putting it on the, the stripe piece and then I decided I'd just do it on this plaid-ish, like buffalo plaid green. Um, I don't know what to call it. It's plaid-ish. And so I cut these down to four by four. And I really try and get this green paper on here, but I I don't like it. I don't, not the paper itself, but just with the other page papers that I picked out for this one. And here I am cutting this down again because I didn't quite get it to three and three quarters on the width. I don't know why. And I'm just trying to make sure I keep as much of their faces as possible. So just a little bit on each side. This is going to be my background paper, and I thought about the flowers for a second, but nope, I don't want the flowers. And then I'm going to cut down the heart paper so that I have, it looks like it's a four by six-ish. So I'm going to do these as four by six to start with. And these will be the top bits on the sketch. And there we go and these two here and I am going to cut out a tag out of this diagonal or out of this um, stripe and I'm going to put it on the diagonal so I can get it diagonal. I was just checking to see if I could get the holes out of one of the colors on that heart paper but it wasn't going to quite work so I didn't. So I'm going to run this through. I decided the tag hole cover piece can be in that bright pink, which would work really well because there's very little of that bright pink on that tag. And so those ones are cut out. And then I'm going to pull over. This is a Hip Kit Club from Kaleidoscope, and it has this tab, like folder tab kind of thing. And I'm going to cut one out of most of those colors on the stripe. And then I did cut out this. Um, camera from this paper. I'm not going to use it either, but it's cut out for some other time. So this is kind of what I'm thinking. And I'm going to get the tab piece on the tag right away, like the whole cover piece. Reinforcer, that's the word I was looking for. Oh man, I'm tired. <laughs> And then looking at the green paper, I decided I really, really didn't like it. I'm going to do a quick look through this New Day collection. And um, if I used this paper for mats, I need two of it, and I don't want to waste it that way. And this will work well enough. I actually end up liking it. And so I'm just going to cut these into two 4 by 4s and use some of this paper up. So I was thinking of horizontal, I am going to rotate it so they are vertical stripes, and I definitely think I like that more. And I'm going to match up that orange in the center so it kind of looks like it's just a continuation with the break in between. And doo -doo -doo, thinking, thinking, I had a lot of interruptions in this video too, so it was, phone kept ringing and uh, it was 
was one of those things. So getting those on their mats, going to ink most of the papers up in black. And I like that. And I still am not liking the other part of that background piece, but I'm going to run with it for a minute. Um, I was kind of thinking that camera would go there, but it kind of gets lost. And then I pull out my new day sticker sheet and I like those houses. So this is when I've decided that it's just not going to work for me and I need to find something else. And so I think what was not working was that there wasn't enough white space on that paper. With the amount of white that's on that heart, I needed something to balance the white on the heart to be on the other side. So I did pull out that rainbow piece, but the print is a little smaller than I was happy for. And then I looked at that camera, I looked at the suns again, and I'm going to pull the camera because I think it matches a lot more. I'm going to cut this down to four by five. So there's just a little bit more pink on top. And I'm going to cut this down to four by five. And that I like a whole lot more. I feel like the colors are matching better. It all seems to like meld a bit better. That green plaid is also in that heart, but I don't know. It just, it was not working for me. This is working a whole lot more. So I had to go grab the phone again. And I think this time I brought it back down with me, so that's good. I'm going to ink that one up, and then I was going to ink this one up, but I actually want to save some of that camera paper because I really like it. So I'm not going to ink it up until I actually get it on the page. So I'm just mapping out where the heart piece goes, and there's some tape on it already. And then the bottom picture goes on, and I'm going to map out where the top edge will go for the camera but I am gonna you'll see what I do here in a second I am wanting the tabs to actually line up at the top of that paper so the camera paper is going to be a little bit shorter than the heart paper even so but and these are all those tabs they match the stripes in that tag so it works out really well and that's how they're going to go and so those, the cluster of them I already made will go on the back side of this piece of paper. And then this pink one will go on the front and that's where my date will go eventually. And then the tag is going to go across like this. And so I don't need to waste that whole middle section. So I'm going to trim this down so that I had to see where that line was because I couldn't see it <laughs> with my pencil. And so I'm going to keep that middle piece and I can use it for something else. And it's not going to be seen anyway. And then I can line this all up and get it down. So now these edges are going to get inked because I can. And then this goes in an inch and a half. So I'm just marking that out. That's what the other side is in for as well. And then just lining my T-square up and then I'm using glue instead of tape because it gives a little bit of wiggle room and so I can move it just the touch up and it's straight. And then my tag is going to go up in foam and I use the brown because the brown is not as versatile for me than the white that I pulled out to begin with and I'm going to T-square it up as well. And there we go. And now the last piece is going to go here and it's going to mostly get lined up with that. The top of those tabs are going to get lined up with the top of that paper. I'm just using my eyes to see where it is because that one doesn't have to be exactly perfect, but I did want it to line up ish. So then using my T-square to get this on nice, kind of, and this last photo can go on pretty easy now.
And there we go. The basis of this is done. So I'm going to use this pink twine in this tag. And then I'm going to look for embellishments. And so we are at Heritage Park in Calgary. So those old style buildings work really well because that's what Heritage Park is. Um, I thought about this banner, but it could have worked. Just wasn't feeling it. And I like the happy, so I'm going to use the happy on here because we are definitely happy when we get to go to Heritage Park. My youngest at this time was a month old and we spent the day at Heritage Park because why not? So I went with my mom and my nephew and both my kiddos went and so we spent the day there and so it was lots of fun. I have lots of pictures of this day to, to scrapbook that I haven't yet and that was in 2011 so a long time ago. So at this time, we could eat at the bakery because I didn't know I was celiac at the time. Um, so I'm going to get the macaroons and all sorts of treats that we'd normally get at Heritage Park, but we can't anymore. So the ice cream works. They have a lovely ice cream shop. They have a bakery. They have a restaurant. We had lunch at the restaurant this day. Probably the last time I had lunch at the restaurant too. But yeah, it is what it is. And so I'm just pulling stuff off of the sticker sheet and out of the, the chipboard. Um, I didn't really like how thick that ice cream cone was compared to the other ones. And then I do have the tags and things. And so I'm pulling out a couple of different things. Um, that one I pulled out and set to the side with the camera on it. I think it says, um, this photo means so much to me. And then that top one is, if friends were like flowers, I would pick you. Because these two were pretty good little friends at this time. And then I found some chipboard pieces in with these tags that I forgot were even there. So I'm going to pull some of those out. So I'm going to use the rainbow that doesn't have the piece missing in the middle. And then I'm going to, I pulled out some of the birds that are already there. This one I'm not going to use, but I thought about it. And I think this looks pretty good. So I'm going to ink up this tag. It also has some pokey out pieces for where the scallop is on there. But I did not think about that until I put glue on it. So I'll show you that in a second here. Just getting stuff, stuff put down. So the birds are right here. I think they're pretty cute. And then the tag is also going to go up on the foam. And it's a good thing I use glue. And it's going to go up here. This is where the kind of like the journaling spot was in the sketch. And so I thought that would work. I don't really need a lot of journaling on this page. It's just pretty cute at the moment. So. And then I realized I had poked those out, so yay, glue. <laughs> and glue that hadn't set yet. And then it's going to get the same twine, but just not as long of a piece. And we're doing pretty good here. Almost, almost getting there. So this is when I decided the sun was maybe doing a little too distracting. And I pulled out these flowers again because I want something on that tag. So the flowers, I think, are going to work just fine to... I'm not going to have anything else on the tag. Like, the title could have went there, but it didn't, so it's not. <laughs> um, and then just looking for... What else was I looking for? I don't know. Something else. And then I figured, oh, might as well get the tab on. This is where my date again is going to go. I was very distracted for this one today because as I said, the phone kept ringing and I kept getting distracted. I think I had six videos that I had to paste together and that's a lot when to begin with. It's only like, I think this took me an hour to make in total. 
So that's a lot of time to like not. And I'm going to scuff up this edge a little bit. I am going to grab my tiny attacher and I'm going to attach the twine. And this is really annoying right now. So the first one, it didn't come through and then I clicked it again and I had two staples and they didn't bend over properly and one didn't really go in. So I'm trying to fold down the twines of one of them and I will put a piece of tape on it when I get it so I can. Um, and then I'm going to pull out the other one because it's not flat on this side and it's really annoying. <laughs> but it is what it is. I guess I could have cut a bit of that out, but now it's done. So it is what it is. And then brave me, I'm going to use my tiny attacher again. And this time it worked fine. But sometimes I feel a little like nervous after something like that has jammed. And you're like, no. Do I want to? Do I not? Eh, just go for it. But. And then this one's going to go on this side and it's going to get a staple too. And we are almost there. So take a look at it and now I need the date. So I pulled over this white piece of paper just to make sure that I put the numbers in right. And then I put the date on and it didn't stamp very nice. So I'm just going to read stamp it on this white and I'm going to cut it out and I'm going to paste it on because why not? That looks cute enough. I could have redone another tab and tried it again, but I didn't want to do that. And so this is the last thing I do is just put a black edge around my piece of pink paper just to ground it a little bit. And here it is close up. And there we go. There are also some still shots to follow. If you liked my video, I would appreciate a thumbs up. If you are new to me, I would love it if you sub subscribed. And here in a minute, after I show you all these close ups, there'll be another playlist and a subscribe button and another video if you're interested in watching. I really appreciate the time that you spent on my channel today and I hope you have a really great day. Thank you so much for watching.